Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisha Rogers. If you're new here, I basically post fashion, lifestyle, and beauty content. So if that's your vibe, you're welcome to stay. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. As you can tell by today's title, we're going to be doing a mob wife aesthetic 90s blowout inspired hair. So this is the hair, and I've also incorporated clip ins to get this colorway. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, as I said. And let's get on into the video forgot to show you guys the packaging and like a bit more details about the hair so the clippings are 14 inches and this wig is 20 20 inches 22 something like that but as you can tell they really do blend well with the hair so if you have long hair and you're wanting to get that like highlight or like balayage look you can always get like shorter clip-ins because it's still gonna work either way so this is the packaging it's very cute and it's very unique i don't think i've ever seen a hair company with packaging like this because normally it comes in like a satin bag or some type of bag or like a box but this is very cute i love it and obviously it says they're branding here irresistible clip-in hair extensions i don't know if this will say and then yeah as you guys can see on the box it has their logo their logo irresistible me i don't know why i can't speak today and then it says what they are they're in the invisible clipping extensions what i really like that i feel like i don't know if any other brand does this is at the bottom as you can tell it says try me and normally at the bottom because i said i've already opened this as you guys were here further on in the video it'll come with a little plastic baggie and it has two clip-ins like it has a clip-in with like two clips on it and what you can do is if you're unsure so let's say you have um ginger hair and the clipping extensions that you ordered you're not too sure whether they'll blend you can always grab them from the bottom and then you can obviously try it on your hair if you decide mm, no i don't really feel like this color suits maybe i'll get a different color it saves you opening the packaging and you can send it back and then you can always get a different color which is what i really like instead of having to open the whole thing but anyways so you can just take it off the top and this is how it looks on the inside and it comes in this satin bag which has their logo and everything on i really like the like white packaging it's very cute and i like to put it on my vanity just to give my room a pop of color as well and on the inside is where the hair extensions will come so these are just the leftover hair from what i didn't install in my hair i promise normally they're like much neater than this but this is because i just kind of shoved them in afterwards but yeah so this is how the 14 inches look by the way i am five foot for reference so if i was to put it at the like lowest point of my hair this is how long it would be on me so it's very cute to create that like bob look which i really like and yeah i don't remember the color of the clipping extensions but if you go on the website everything is there for you and i'll put some more details and a link down in the description box so yeah that's enough interruptions from me carry on watching the video and i hope you guys enjoy okay guys so i've already began by doing this part so i'm gonna do this section so you guys can kind of see how i do my clip-ins so um we're gonna grab a um can't think of my words so we're gonna grab a two clip extension pop it like so and then i'm just gonna pick up some hair you need to pick up enough hair that it covers the clipping because you don't want the clipping poking out and everyone can see so the thing i like about them is they lay really flat so it's not gonna bulk up your hair at all oh my gosh that's not going in yeah so it's not gonna bulk up your hair at all and it's just gonna go in very seamless so even if you do have thin hair don't worry because it will cover it and literally like so all covered like of course it's all trial and error so if you put it in one position and you feel like you can see the clip in just rearrange it to your likability it comes with quite a lot of hair literally look how much i have left so because this hair is already quite full i'm not going to put all of them in i like the look of how it looks at the front so we're going to take another row leaving a sufficient amount of space because i want to give the illusion of highlights Yeah, sorry, I just had to grab a clip. So we're gonna clip this over here. Oh, it's not even clipped in my hair. Hang on a minute. Ah. Yeah, we're gonna clip it into the hair. And with this, I kind of want it to like snake round to the back a bit. So I'm just gonna comb through it. And these are wavy because of the previous hairstyle that I had with them. But literally pop it like so. This is one with three clips. And I've left enough part in space, hopefully, 
to put it in so you literally just slide it down i don't know if you guys can even see what i'm doing and in order to not get the um, clippings to be bumpy pull them right back so that it's literally as flat as can be before you proceed onwards yeah literally perfect i'm just gonna comb it in and then let me unclip this and comb it down for you guys to see and literally so seamless it's literally giving highlights and that's the illusion that i want to give with this so i'm going to do this side and then i will be back so you guys can see the back so i've grabbed the two wet one and i'm going to do the back so hopefully you guys can see Okay, so now that we've got all the extensions in, oh, let me just cover that. Yeah, now that we have all the extensions in, I'm just waiting for my hair straighteners to warm up so that we can do the blowout look. Okay, so I've just put my hair in a claw clip behind so that I can work on a section. So I'm just gonna brush it out like so, just to make sure everything's nice and blended together. And with the really short pieces, I'm gonna take my hair straightener and we're gonna curve it inwards like so so we can get the nice flicks on the end i don't know if i want to leave it as a curl we'll see once we're done at the end but literally the same curve it all the way down and it has to be thin pieces so you can get that fluffy effect i know it's not really giving now but once you see the whole thing you'll you'll know what i'm talking about so let me do a bit more so you guys can kind of see the vision coming together Okay, so you guys can kind of see how it's coming together. So literally what I'm doing is I'm grabbing like thin pieces like so. And then I'll take my hair straightener and then I'll literally curve it inwards like so. And I feel like the thinner the pieces are, the nicer it comes out. Because obviously it's supposed to be given the illusion that it's just come out of a roller set. And then I like to curve it from the top because I like a bit of volume in my hair. If that's not really your vibe, then you can obviously just focus on like the um, bottom half. But literally these clippings are so good because they're human hair extensions. So you don't have to worry about it like sizzling up like Barbie doll hair when you put heat to it. So you're literally fine. Literally look, can you see the vision? I'm so in love. I'm gonna come back when I've done like this half so I can kind of compare it to the other side okay guys so i've done this section i'm not yet to comb it out because i'm not too sure if i want to leave it like this or if i want to zhuzh it out so I'm, as you can tell this is how it was looking before and this is now can you see like i'm actually in love and the clippings blend extremely well i can i actually cannot believe that so i'm gonna sort out this side and then we'll be back yeah completed the front section and all i've got left is the front section well like the little soup bit so what i'm planning on doing and hopefully this actually comes out great is that i'm actually i flipped it over to this side so that i can curl it inwards and let me just hold the bottom bit there and then hopefully if i flip it over <gasps> kind of cute this is actually kind of cute. Let me sort out my, actually I'll just do it on camera for you guys to see. I need to make sure that this clipping is hidden if you guys can see it poking out. So I'm just gonna take it out and then re-flatten it. Oh, yeah. Okay, puff. Let me just take the brush to the top section. And like, let's kind of, yeah so like i feel like the mob wife hair is very much like big bouncy curls like it has to be like very big and dramatic hair and i like my hair in my face like if i can 
mysterious vibe yeah let me just kind of sort it out and i'll be back okay guys and there you have it this is the hair i'm absolutely in love with it and the clippings blended so well if i do say so myself oh my gosh the back is a bit of a mess and if you have like thin hair and you're just looking to add more volume to your hair honestly these clippings are so good it's basically like having tape in extensions but obviously without that like added damage to your hair and there's like so many other colors and i'm like the type of girly that i don't think i'll ever dye my hair so and i'm the type of girly where i don't think i'll ever dye my hair so having like colored clip cut color, having colored why can't I say it? Having coloured clip-ins is honestly like the best thing ever because even when I have my natural hair, I can just put them in. And because it has a dark root, it allows it to blend in really nicely with my hair, which I really love. And then obviously it can blend in when I put it in like wigs to kind of like zhuzh it up. So if you're looking for a change, defo get these. But yeah, so I think with this, I'm just going to tuck it behind my ear a bit and it's very cute. You can even tuck the front bit behind your ear. I like the flip over bit. In the front all oh, this doesn't want to cooperate yeah i like the flip over bit in the front just because it's cute so yeah so yeah guys i'm just going to tuck a bit behind my ear like so because i feel like that looks very cute and plus i'm an earring girl and i want my earrings to show so i try to make this as short as possible but still very much informative and the steps are very easy as i said these clippings are very much trial and error so you can just kind of put it in and if you don't feel like it fits nicely then you can and these clippings are very much trial and error so if you don't feel like the position that you put it in really looks well if you find that some places have more color than um yeah have more color than others then you can always rearrange it and just kind of look in the mirror and like take pictures of the back of your head to see how it looks i have a more in-depth detail of how to install these clippings on my page it's under the clean girl aesthetic get ready with me transformation video so that is very much more in detail and in depth but you yeah, guys i'm absolutely in love i'm about to film a fur coat collection video which is very much in link with the mob wife aesthetic so if that's your vibe you can click on that video because it should be up by now but thank you guys for watching bye